Well, we've got our silo up with our log circle stairway tree right in the middle. And we're drilling the primary pilot holes for our stair treads. Now the technology that we're using is exactly the same as we do on the little stairways, but the application is different. So instead of putting the pattern up on top of the stairway pole and using two plumb lines, we've put the pattern down on the floor. Now we started with a circle that's 360 inches around, all right? Each stair tread is 12 degrees. So we've got 12 inches on the perimeter outside of our circle to get one stair tread. One stair tread, 12 degrees. And of course, we've got it all mapped out on the floor here, but we're using center line design. That's the only way to measure this out. Center line design is what we're using. Design. Now what we've got is we've got a story pole here that I'm gonna set on a little two by six surround around the tree. And the two by sixes are the same height as the floor. So what I'm really setting it on is the, the main floor, floor height. And I can take from the story pole, come in and mark the, mark the height of my stair tread to the top of the stair tread. And then with the rotational laser, which has a different mode in it, rotational laser with a still setting. So I can have it spinning in a circle and it marks a flat plane, a perfectly flat plane that is precisely aligned with the exact center of the tree and it's spinning, or I set it now as now in still mode, or I can come over and the little red dot isn't spinning in a circle, it's pointing at one spot. Now this would correspond with the middle of the tree. And then I just real gentle spin the thing around and point it at my target on the other side. And I can reach over and then mark the corresponding vertical line that matches up with the exact center of the stair tread and then come back over to the center pole and the stair tread is the middle of the tenon is three and five eighths of an inch three and five eighths inches below the top of the stair tread I swing a mark there I have that and I'll plumb down from that line and get the little bisect point right here middle of our tenon on the outside we come with bringing this mark down here and this is the vertical line that matches for our center line design of the stair tread all right okay and drill a starter hole half inch diameter and only about three quarters of an inch deep. Then we can level across and a little half inch pin taped to the level to transfer the mark across. We've got a half inch shaft that sets on top of the level and bring out to line on the outside. Get it so it's precisely level and mark. Okay, I got a little pinhole there. And then of course, just like our other 29 holes that we are drilling in here, we'll continue that half inch hole all the way through the tree. And then we'll follow each one with the six inch bit for our stair treads. And it's all just as simple as that. <laughs> and it's time for coffee. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Here, we'll move the, hang on, we'll move the little strap to the outside. There, and of course, I know this is the fancy do scriber with the bubble level and all that, but on here, the level is absolutely 
useless. You know, to get as much as possible holding the thing so that the two points of now just a compass are tracking uh, parallel to the axis of the part. One 16 inch bolt, 15 inch bolt, but since the tree is wet and it's gonna, it's gonna have to be continually tightened on the bolt as the tree dries and shrinks, you're gonna have to continually tighten the bolt. Since the tree is wet, I've coated all the threads of every bolt with grease so that when they go to tighten it, a year from now, as they keep having to tighten it, that it won't be rusted tight together and they'll actually able to be tightened as the tree dries and shrinks and all that. Hence grease. So uh. oh, Mike, it's, it's drawing it to level. It's level. Okay. Very good. Beautiful? Yes. <laughs> Number 30. Uh, it's a good day. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Well, in next, as far as what comes next, we're going to ideally going to go in and out and drill all the holes for all the spindles for the stair tread, get the cranes back over in the low boy semi tractor trailer and set the thing on the trailer. And then they're going to head for the city's course since it's so wide, we're 14 feet wide and possibly over height too, that they'll have to route a specific trip for the semi down to the cities where there then would take and dismantle all the surround around the stairway and pick it up and swing it over and lower it gently down into the house. <laughs> <laughs> and it all works perfect, yeah, perfect. you know? <laughs> Sounds like a smooth plan. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe we'll see you all down there. <laughs>